All right, guys, so to keep in line with our drying theme at the minute, um, our final um, iteration is gonna be a wheel and tire towel. Now, you're all gonna think I'm crazy. However, there is science behind the madness. So, usually what people like to do is, I don't speak for everybody, for, but for about 98% of people, is they will take an old towel that has been probably dropped on the floor or has been com completely decommissioned and they'll say, oh, I'm quickly gonna come and wipe my wheels, my tires, which they probably haven't even probably cleaned anyway, hence why the towel is like really jacked up. Um, and then that's how people normally dry their um, tires, the wheel wells, the wheels, the door jams. Now, so what we've done, instead of kind of, here's a towel, go and use it. This towel has been specially designed for the wheels and tires could be used on the engine bay, it can be used on the door jam. So basically anything that is usually slightly dirtier than the paintwork. Now, the reason we have a dedicated wheel and tire towel is because you obviously do not want, after you do this, even though this wheel, it's got carbon ceramic bricks, it's been cleaned to within a millimeter of its life, you still potentially don't want to take this towel and put it on the paintwork because again, we all know it can cause swirls and scratches, etc. So this is a double twist loop construction, fits perfectly in your hand. Now you can go directly into your tire and your, and your wheel wells dry. However, you know what I'm going to say? Drying it. So in this case, we have got a um ceramic undiluted. Now again, you can either do it the 50-50 way which you can use on the paintwork as a drying aid, or you can use it the neat way. This is the neat way only because these uh, wheels get hot, they get cold, they get dirty, they get really, this is the worst area of the vehicle. So what I'd like to do, as you can see, the tire is still wet, the wheel's still wet. So you can go directly, or my preference is I like to miss the towel. So obviously like this. Now again, two towel method. What I do is I literally, because it's a drying aid, I want to first dry and pick up the water and then obviously kind of massage the, the product into the wheel finish. So these are satin wheels, so it's totally safe to do so. Again, I like to go around the edge of the wheel. So because it fits so well into your hand, watch this, I'm literally, it's as if it's um, a drying version of the wheel mitt. I'm going in behind the spokes as if I'm cleaning them because obviously water's still gonna be there. Now, the reason we've gone for this, I want everybody to have a really a, a dedicated towel solution for every surface of the car. That way you literally eliminate any potential cross-contamination issues. So there's still gonna be a time where somebody can potentially mess up and cross-contaminate, but I've given you literally as much rope to hang yourself with as possible. Um, of course, the towel line is going to eventually expand as well into even more niche sets, um, and people think I'm even more crazy, but that is the life that I lead. So, wheel is beautifully dried. Look at that. There isn't a single single piece of contamination at all. As you can see, it's a little bit wet, but that's it. So I've got my dry towel, but before I go and hit the wheel face again, I, it's, you don't need to look. I can see there's no streaks, there is no smearing, but because I'm anal, I like to just, it's, it, I'm following a process. The process never ever loses. If you start skipping steps and then you wonder why something doesn't look like it does on camera for me, it's because you probably haven't followed the process um, that I'm showing you. So before I go and hit the wheel faces and the barrels, what I'm gonna do, because this is a virgin towel, I'm just gonna go. So I like to put my thumb in to the bead of the tire and literally just watch, just a one swipe. Boom. That's how you do it. So I let the, the tire gas off, obviously I'm gonna moisturize it after this. And then I just flip, again, this for transparency purposes, there's, there's nothing on the towel, but then again, I'm gonna flip it because I'm anal. And I'm just literally, just a quick once pass over. 
in case you need to level anything or anything like that. Now, it's impossible for you to see this or feel this through camera, but you're just gonna have to um, trust me on this. It's a spoiler alert. This wheel now is as slick as you can ever get it. Boom, there we go. There's your wheel and tire towel, part of the microfiber package. I would recommend you get, even if you are not going for a starter or the, or the advanced microfiber package, get yourself at least four of these. So for example, right now, I will probably hit uh, with the wet towel, I'll probably go and do the front right over there. I'll swap over to a completely virgin towel and I'll go and do the rears. And then I will probably do a couple for the door jams and engine bays, exhaust, all that sort of stuff. So. Again, drying aid, guys. Um, if you do what I've just done every single week, nothing, of course, let's be transparent here, nothing will ever beat a coating. However, if you haven't got the means or the affordability level to go and potentially get your wheels ripped off, professionally cleaned, maybe even polished, um, and then coated, if you do this step on the wheels as a drying aid, I mean, what, I'm gonna use 10 sprays maximum on 21 uh, inch wheels. If you do this step every time you wash your car, for me it's weekly, um, just massage it in, if needs be, go back around it with a second wheel and tire towel, your wheels will never need anything else, ever, I can guarantee you. Um, so, wheel and tire towels, um, I know, obviously, you guys have already been buying them, I hope you're all enjoying them, and um, as always, thank you for watching this video, guys, and, I will catch you on the next episode.